Hi everyone, this is a replay of my round two match of the Metroid Prime Randomizer 2023 tournament, originally broadcasted on Speed Gaming. Thank you to Speed Gaming for hosting myself, the tournament, and the many other events and races that are ongoing. Please support Speed Gaming at both twitch.tv slash speedgaming and youtube.com slash at speedgaming channel. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to Speed Gaming, here to bring you the next match of the Metro Prime Randomizer Tournament of 2023, today between Jeff Games and Games and Frost. Uh, my name is Doris and I am joined by Schwartz. Schwartz, how are you today? I'm doing good. I'm, I just want to say I'm glad that y'all are here today. Yesterday it was just me on the signups and it looked like I was going to have to maintain this whole thing myself. So I'm glad that everyone is here now. So thank you. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Uh, ooh, okay. Shows a start. So yes, as some of you might be aware of now, this is our week two settings for the main major tournament. These are, are commonly referred to as our even weekly settings. We have random starts where we'll start in any room in the game. We'll start with a few select random items like you saw there. And then we will um, also have all of our elevators go to different locations that they normally don't go to. Yeah, it's a start. So far, Morph Ball, Boost Ball, Spider Ball, and Missiles all in the same room. <laughs> Interesting. We just need bombs and power bombs for all of our morph ball upgrades. And is that a missile in the half pipe? Frost doesn't seem too interested. Alright, Jeff is Checking the main plaza elevator and goes to frigate crash site. We need ice beam to go through there. Uh, grapple ledge. I didn't. I did not see it. Unfortunately, we'll see if anyone else tries to go through. We we'll see it again. Plasma. Meanwhile, Frost is going to be making his way to Hive Totem. Let's see. I mean, at this point, it, it could be a missile. Yeah, we either go to Hive Totem or we go out towards the watering hole, so it kind of makes sense just to clear this off where we're here. Very astute. Alright. Um, perhaps that's a Magmar elevator? Might be, it might be a vanilla elevator right here. Uh, what did that say? That was... Twin fires. Twin fires, okay. Yeah. So, that makes me kind of want to just immediately check that out, but I'd at least want to peek. Yeah, peeking bolt in this is a good idea. Meanwhile, Jeff is attempting, or just was attempting, the room gallery wall boost. I, I admire that. We love wall boosting here. But that one is notoriously annoying. It's also a check this out the way because you don't want to have to come back here for wait, once you get the bombs. Yes, it's been a common thing where if you just, if you have like, say you have like a late bomb seed and you just can't get that, <laughs> if you like forget that you need to do that, that usually ends up having something. And if you do remember that, that's what we call it, Schrodinger's check a lot of the times, kind of what we've been going on now. Yeah. Hopefully, bombs will turn up soon. We also got a quick sneak peek at one of our artifacts, which is logically locked behind Flagra. Hey, there's bombs. Watery Hall Axis. So, I guess 
back to the ruined fountain artifact. We don't technically need to be flogger for it. Logically, we do, but we could also just use some standables. And since we already have spider ball, we could easily get that ruined fountain NSJ into that item is kind of delicate. You most runners would pro they would probably both, will both want to wait for their space jump before they attempt that. Yeah, it's not the top priority right now because we need, we know where it is. So we just need to find the tools to get it easier. Mm -hmm. Oh, bug! Nice you tank. And okay. Yep. So thankfully, with this spider, we are able to check Dynamo or both items in Dynamo on the first pass, which is always just a nice thing to have. Plus, we'll also be checking Watery Hall item down here. And it's Space Jump. Oh, that's... rude. Yeah, this slope jump is... this underwater slope jump is attainable NSJ, but it is <laughs> very... Uh, difficult and tense considering that most of the time you want to do it is when water is being poisoned. So that means that's a definitely a logical flogger play. Okay. I wonder that'd be funny if flogger itself actually doesn't have anything and you just had to beat it for space jump. That's that's very gross. Um I don't know if you can bomb through bomb jump up there. That might be a thing. Uh, I don't have the data visualizer on me right now. You can? Okay. Cool. So yeah, that might just be the logical thing then. Yeah, because that's that underwater slope jump NSJ. I do not believe is beginner. So yeah, that must mean that gravity is around here. But it's not a problem for Frost. He gets it for. We'll just call it first try. Okay. Yeah, um, Frost just looking to prove us wrong. Yep. You, you know, honestly, I'm all for that. That's a very good slope jump to go for, even if you're not confident in it. That's just so rewarding. And Frost is going to ooh, gonna take that space jump all the way to Zoid. We do have bombs, so we don't have to worry about soft lucky there. Although, at this point, I don't know if Zoid would be the best check right now, given that Varia was really early. It really is tempting to just go and do Magmore checks right now. Seeming as they also have Space Jump, that they could get that Plasma Beam on their way out as well. Let's see if Jeff can do this. Jeff is quite the trick connoisseur, so I definitely have, I believe that he can do this. Even in the time pressure. Yep, there it goes. Faster than Frost. Let's go. Let me take those. Nothing behind Zoid. Go lose for him itself. So where does Jeff want to go after this? Uh Okay, good. Jeff does have bombs. That's good. So, where does he want to go? Okay, he's going back. Uh, oh, he's, he's thinking. Decisions, decisions. Which way do we go? Yeah, this definitely would be tough decisions to row. Gathering halls, good check. From here. Okay, Jeff is 
Jeff is putting off Sloyd. Fair, fair play. And think, I didn't see the reward, but I don't think that was anything. Nah, it was just messages from Zoid, so making the smart call to skip him for now. Alright, so gain him a little bit of an edge for here. And then, uh, yep, and we're also going to see Jeff get this artifact first pass. So now, this makes me think. Lod Flagra is definitely logically required for this seed, and quite early, matter of fact. Makes me wonder if you want to actually do Flagra, considering that there's very high chance that Flagra itself could have a major. Although, I don't know if the just the logical implications of doing it would also imply that there's a major in there or not. Okay, well there's Wave Beam. And grab the ledge. So, <laughs> of course, be peeking the tree as well. It's a missile. All right. That's a handy little trick. I did not know you could peek that. Aim. Yeah. So normally you can, you can see through that with X-ray, but if you stand in the right position and are holding L, you will be able to just like get your camera to just barely clip on the underside of that thing and you'll see what the item is. Very useful. We were speaking about gravity earlier, frost and gravity underneath the furnace. Okay, so maybe Flagra, well Flagra is still logically required for a rune fountain, but maybe it the logic did want you to bomb jump up there, whether it be before or after Flagra is undecided, I guess. I think the logic doesn't care if the water is toxic or not, but it does seem that Frost will be heading to fight Flagra anyways. This is, I mean, honestly, at this point, I could take or leave this. I would say the only thing that would be scaring me from this is having only two E-Tanks. But that's just personally, for me, I'm not the strongest Flogger player or Flogger fighter, so I like to at least be a little bit of healthy. But we'll see what Frost can do here. Now, where does Jeff go after from here? Uh, Baja, yes. We have seen Main Plaza leads to Bring a Crash Site, and then Sun Tower leads to Twin Fires. That's all of the elevators we know. And I believe, I think that Jeff might be, he's going to pick up Gallery Tunnel. That's fine. And then he's probably going to make his way to Twin Fires because of the very suit that we already have. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be I'd be willing to bet on the Magmore play, honestly. Then <laughs> do Farchozo. Yeah, not just item density, but you're also getting checks on additional elevators, which is uh, quite a core component. Of course, once again, proving if you get the Rune Gallery Tunnel item, it's not important. So from based on this routing, I assume that Jeff is also going to be taking the Twin Fires elevator. Here. Yeah, I feel if you're going to Far Shows, you would go back out the initial way. Yes, Grapple Ledge was in fact wave beam, not plasma, but it was a beam, so it it can be hard to tell from that cutscene sometimes. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Frost defeated Flogger. What is, what does it have? Uh, that 
looked like an e-tank? A uh, missile. Okay. So, do you have Flogger logically not required to do yet? Ghosts are still out of logic until supers. Even though we have Spider right now, that's still technically an intermediate knowledge to know that you don't have to that you can just hit the trigger down there. So, yeah, it ghosts hard required supers to even do, but we will see Frost fight them anyways. That's fine. Although at this point, I I would doubt that there's anything up here. Um, <clears throat> man, voice cracks today. <laughs> Nothing bad yet. Just that Flogger was logically required in under 10 minutes, but Jeff was able to skip it. Artifact in Rune Fountain and SJ in Lower Watery Hall, which I hadn't seen in a, quite a long time. Dismissal. Okay, the damage run is in logic. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So thankfully, gravity was right there. But granted, okay. We still need the flogger for Rune Fountain. But yeah. Yeah, speaking about not wanting to do far shows, well, that was uh, one of the reflecting pool elevators. Okay. So. Save, reflecting pool save is our last elevator in Chosa we don't know. That's honestly, I'm glad that we found the reflecting pool elevator so early. I would not want to have to make my way all the way down there to just check the elevator. Tricops pit, what do you got for us? If you if you hit it, Jeff. There you go. Missile. Oh. All right. That was nothing on ghosts. Okay. Did <laughs> did Frost not take the item? The item dot is still in some chamber. That's. Grapple beam in storage cavern. Okay. Um, that puts our wave beam in logic, I believe. Or no, that that uh, that stupid jump, anyways, is in logic, anyways. Um, I guess what does grapple really do for us? <laughs> That's right. Yes, we can, we can cross my pool and check to training chamber and access. Um, yeah, unfortunately we don't have a bomb, but we can get, at least get through the door now because we know where wave beam is. Mm -hmm. Although that's, at this point, for Jeff, that's kind of a little bit of a backtrack. That I would say at least check this elevator first. And nothing in Lava Lake. Okay, so, la so the only thing in Magmore was at Grapple Beam, I think, as well as that Wave Buster <laughs> in Fiery Shores. So, I guess not the most profitable, but could be a good logic indicator for Magma Pool. We do also have where this elevator takes us out, because uh, random elevators, we could, we could end up somewhere interesting. That is true. This could be, perhaps we'll actually get an early talent these elevators what do we got that's not what we wanted to see but that's fine <laughs> that's thankfully we still don't have ice so it's just main quarry still out of logic without thermal but uh, might as well still check it <laughs> 
check it and then probably save warp back and then do remaining Choso checks. Mm hmm. Frost wave beam in hand. It's going to check Tower of Light as well and find nothing there, unfortunately. So, not the worst start. The only the, the worst thing was Flogger logically being required. Or I guess well, still not logically yet, I guess. But SJ in Lower Watery Hall was quite bad, and. Already seeing main quarry in 20 minutes. But yeah, it's not nearly as bad as yours was little cure so far. <laughs> okay, main quarry dead. So from here, I'm going to see a save warp. Now hopefully we don't see Ice Beam for a minute. And we have to come all the way back through here just to continue in mines. <laughs> that would be very annoying. So now we have bombs, we can get that last check in the room we start in, and it has an artifact in it. Yep. Um, uh, will we also see Frost do the room fountain artifact? I do not know if he knows it. Be one thing out. Looks like he does. So we will be going for it. Oh yeah, for this race, do we have any RAs? Yes we do. We have um the we have default suit damage reduction for the seed. So instead of you gain more health re or damage reduction based on the amount of suits you have. Instead, it's tied to its original uh, vanilla stats, meaning that phase on suit will always just immediately grant you to start uh, the largest amount of damage reduction. As well as we won't be seeing any notroids here today, unfortunately. They've all been replaced with missiles. So, sad day. Yeah, the unfortunate thing about the suit reductions is we actually got the suits in order anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant. Mm. Uh, was that what was that? What was that in training chamber? I thought that looked like ice beam. I didn't see it. Jeff doesn't seem interested in it. E tank. Okay. Uh, okay. So from here, uh, what do we have left, actually? I guess... Hmm. Was there something in Vault, perhaps? No, Vault was just a missile tank. I believe he's going to go back to Magma and go south rather than north. Ah, yes, that gravity and spider. We could go that way as well. Also, nice, <laughs> nice synced up movement. We'd love to see it. <laughs> Huge route divergence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess the route divergence will come up here when they actually end up going different places because Frost likely is going to go right while <laughs> Jeff goes left. There we go. Okay, so workstation itself isn't in logic, so the only thing we can really do here is um, the safe station elevator. So that will likely lead us to progression. Man. 
and Jeff doesn't know how to keep the combat dash through that room. Cringe. I actually, I didn't know that. I. It seemed like he intentionally full scanned that spider track. I don't. Um, maybe I know that dash is kind of can be annoying sometimes. So maybe he thinks it's easier if it's full fully scanned. Who knows? Killing these pirates will check workstation and it is new tank. Uh, okay. Jeff doesn't want to get it. I personally I think I would have gotten that, but that does seem kinda of slow. Yeah, it would take far too long to go around the puzzle to to pack that up. Honestly. You see, I'm in the camp of uh, I need at least three or four E tanks to be comfortable with most movements, so I I probably would have picked that up if it was my third. But uh, we know Jeff doesn't really need E tanks, so that's fine. Yeah, E tanks are one of those like comfort zones. It's like how comfortable are you playing the game and taking damage versus. Really try to do the tricks and things like that, because that really determines how many E tanks you want. Okay, workstation elevator leads to root cave. Okay, that's good. Um, so I guess maybe root cave is what that grapple was leading towards earlier. Still have no X-ray, but. Does Jeff go for it right now? He does. Nice. Clean. Who needs a grapple beam? Oh. Uh, <laughs> don't fall down there. He accidentally <laughs> locked on to the grapple point below him. That, that is possible to do from that angle, and yes, it can pull you down. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> okay. Phase on suit. Why not? One less thing to worry about. Okay. Arbor chamber is a nothing. Interesting. I guess not all of the notroids got replaced. Is uh, the seed is invalid and needs to be regent. Didn't properly execute all of the player's RAs. And should be fine, honestly. Oh, I guess that that is true. Depending on starting items, you can't really preemptively do that, huh? Okay, quarantine cave elevator. That's interesting. Um, I mean, if you want to follow the grapple logic, our quarantine monitor is always a good one. That is, that is true. That could be leading towards Qmon. But yeah, Jeff, pro Jeff's probably going to stick around and get hints first. First, we'll be making a quick pit stop at uh, Brick and Crash site. Uh, ooh, meanwhile, Frost does seem to be making his way to uh, workstation and does know how to do that combat dash through that room. Thank you. Thank you for showing that off. I did. Um, all right, hints time. Will we see Jeff read his hints early? I really hope so. Okay. 
Also, shout outs to the yellow face on suit that Jeff is rocking today. We love it. <laughs> Everyone, you know the drill. See a smiling face in Power Beam. Spam smiling face in the chat. Okay. There's another free artifact for us right there in the temple. Nice, it's the smallest one. Uh, two, three. Four. All right, we're getting them. Where are they today? <laughs> Life Grove Tunnel. Need Ice Beam. Life Grove itself and Research Core. Wow. That's some bad artifacts. Thankfully, we do have boost, so it's. It's. Uh, I mean, the only thing we really need is Ice Beam, so. Yeah. For those. I think we also, do we also need a Power Bomb to get in a Life Grove, or is it just a normal bomb? Oh, yeah, we do need PBs as well. Okay, that could complicate things, that actually. Haven't seen a single expansion yet. Um, okay, Frost is also getting his phase on suit, and will we see the Arbor Chamber? Yes. Okay, don't fall down. Nice. And then see Frost rocking the classic uh, red phase on suit. Okay, and then get in the hole. Nice. Nothing. Okay, so I guess yeah, those artifacts aren't the worst. The the worst thing about this is that we still don't know where Plasma is, so... The best thing that could happen is that Ice is Plasma locked in maybe like Shorelines or something. But... Yeah, at this rate... Who knows? Yeah, we have no real reason to step into Mines, we have no real reason to step into Vendrana. Except for that one research the uh, artifact inside the research core which if you find ice beam is a very quick way to go mm -hmm. um okay yeah so quarantine monitor i think is our so logical jeff you have grapple <laughs> okay thank goodness he makes it missile okay um i guess logic wise yeah we still have far chosen stuff neither player has really pursued that um, not going to fight Thardis. Okay. Makes sense. I think, yeah, at this point, our last elevator is reflecting pool safe station. So, uh, so I think that's where Jeff is going to be making his way to. Frost is also going to be picking up his hints here. And sees that they are funny. We'll, we'll put it. We'll put it at that. They're funny. Seeing a uh, save warp from Jeff, heading back to Chozo. Yep, so Ice Beam. Oh, we could have a vanilla ice, actually. That is still on the table. That would... I mean, at this rate, seeming as that's our last elevator is on the way there, that's not the worst, but that is still quite... Good. 
It's like there are plenty of ways for this game to troll, and Vanilla Ice is usually one of the better ones to see. Yeah, out of like all of the items that can be vanilla, or like when they are vanilla, Ice Beam is definitely like top three, one of the funniest. Of course, number one would probably be like Phase On Suit, obviously. Because chat loves OP and OP fights. Yep, Jeff is making his way. Is he? Oh, he's probably going to fight Zoid now, though. So he has put that off. So he's also probably thinking that. You know what, actually? I wonder if he knows that Flagra is dead. Because he hasn't seen Gravity Suit here yet. Or. Wait, what am I saying? He he should know that gravity suit should be around here soon. I feel like he would know that you would need to bomb jump up watery hall. Logically. But yeah. yeah, he may be under the impression that that's all Zoid had, and that's why he didn't do it earlier. I mean, in actuality, it's not far. It's just lower furnace. So. Ooh, but Frost will be fighting Thardis today. Okay. We don't have Plasma, so this is not the best fight, but we do have quite a bit of missiles. Missile spamming is definitely not the worst way to go about this fight. bosses at the same time you love to see it one is objectively better than the other but I won't say which and nice and unfortunately Jeff will not be rewarded today Honestly, I part of me feels like fighting Thardis is actually not the worst play. Because I, I mean, at this point, we might have logical access anyways, if, because Reflecting Cool save station could very likely just go to Shorelines. That would be quite nice. And I think, honestly, as shown here, I think that fighting Thards might actually just be faster to get to Fen than to go all the way and clear Parchozo. But at that point, you're kind of betting on Chex being in Pendrana itself and not Farchozo. Which, granted, at this point is only like. I think actually, yeah, just Antichamber and Upper Furnace. But who knows? There's Jeff's absolutely useless gravity suit. So much for the default damage reduction today. Also, I just noticed that Thardis does not have music. Why did this happen? I think he, is that isn't that like a frame perfect, like cutscene skip or something? That makes the trigger not, the music trigger not activate. I forget. Oh yeah, crossway too. Oh, crossway. This might be a personal preference then, that's fine. Alright, Thardis is dead, and 
dead in terms of both being dead and its check. So, yeah, Frost is gonna continue to defend Jonah from here. Yeah, you're going for these front end of Andrana checks. You're also going for the elevator information at this point. Now, Faison suit was in Root Cave. Yep, so, it's still a lot of logic with without x-ray, but who cares. Nice cutscene compilation there by Jeff. Fen Canyon? Oh, is that Ice Beam? Uh... Plasma! Let's go, dude! Plasma before ice. That puts Frost in a pretty good position for bee hunts. Still need it for our last artifacts, but... That's definitely the order you want to find the beams in, though, because the last thing you want to do is go on a goose chase after ice beam opens up everything. Mm -hmm. In the perfect world, we get plasma beam first, but... That more than likely never happens, considering how much early checks at least in Jozo, Wave provides. Also nice and convenient, because now you can get all these ice checks. Alright, so... Did uh, did Jeff peek any chamber? I didn't see it. I was focused on the plasma. Yep. Oh, the other one does take you to shorelines from the reflecting pool. Okay, so that um, that plasma beam is logical now, knowing that we have access to here. So that was actually not a bad play on Frost Ascent. That puts him a little bit ahead in front of Jeff. But we're probably just going to... It, it's probably even at this point. It depends on if Frost goes back to see anti chamber cross plane stuff. So. There's a standable there? Oh man, I gotta learn that. That's convenient. I've n I've not seen that before. Hey, validation. Let's see, all great at super missiles. Nope. Well, I guess. I mean, at that point, it, it kind of actually has to be Shorelines, because PPC is ice-locked, and if ice wasn't in Farchozo, then you would actually know that that would have been Shorelines at that point. So, it could, but yeah, that's uh, a likely example. Okay. Yeah, that is true. So yeah, actually, we've seen all of our... Actually, no. You know what? It could have just been... It could have also been Great Tree Hall, but both of them are also nice songs. Yeah, Jeff made his way from Shoreline, so he's going to do... Uh, he's going to do Chapel before finding Plasma and Fen Canyon. That's quite unfortunate. Minor routing mistake. I mean, it's the consequence of coming in Fintraner from the front rather than going through it from behind. Mm -hmm. It's like you're not going to go check Canyon before you check the Chapel of the Elders. <laughs> or maybe we... S Never mind. I was going to say they would do the infinite speed, but they didn't RA it, so they can't do it. I will always be forgetting that. I 
There's okay. So Frost sees the reflecting pool save and does decide to take it. Okay. Safe safe bed in this case. Um unfortunately won't be rewarded at all. Granted that we can't even do all of the elders without ice beam. Um, I guess so. Yeah, ice has to be at labs at this point. Mildly frustrating because that's ideally what we need ice to skip. Mm -hmm. At least it would be a quick escape. Um, yeah, no, we can't even we can't progress in mines at all. Without ice, so at this point, since we know that the Great Tree Hall elevators can't go to each other, one of them has to go to PPC and the other has to go to workstation save or workstation debris. So, yeah, it's a nice, nice situation to be in for our runners because we know our el we know the elevators are dead. And you're just looking for ice beam. And there's only so many places ice beam can actually be. Yeah. And also. Oh. Fell down. And we already have our artifact hints. And so we know. I guess the best course of action after finding ice and labs is to get research core. Take. Uh, Frost Cave Save Station, then warp back to Talon, or warp back to Chozo, and then take Elevator, and then do, or, yeah, just do maybe Frigate? Yeah, chat point now is that we still need a power bomb though, we need to find a power bomb expansion. Forget crash site is main plaza, yeah. Uh, yes, Frost did do both Flogger and Ghosts, considering for that, um, we had, like, bombs super early and stuff. But, yeah, nothing was on them, so... Jeff has still not done them yet, at this point. Probably won't. Frost heads back to Fendrana and is going to head straight for labs. Meanwhile, Jeff is going to have to take his punishment by coming here without Plasma first. Labs coming up here for Frost. Jeff has checked Jozo Ice Temple. He's slowly behind him. Like, yeah, this is actually quite a tight race right now. This is, they're like, I don't know, like two minutes apart. Yeah. Yeah, and at this point, we know it's Labs. Although, okay, well, yeah, we don't have Super, so Jeff can't fight Thardis. So that's good. So, how deep into labs do you want to bet Ice Beam is, folks? I think the troll would be that it's power bombs and you have to go back to Magma Pool to get your Ice Beam. <laughs> that is also, that could also be it. But, who actually, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> we could <laughs> Hydra Ice Beam with supers in like Aether. Uh, yes, Jeff. Uh, Peak Tree, it was a missile. Dead. 
that yeah, that would be extra spicy if there were was another progression into ice beam in my tier. I really shouldn't look at chat because it really does give me terrible ideas for how logic chains can work. It's like power bombs in labs takes you back to magma pool that has your super missiles to come back to lab to get to get your ice beam. That would be the worst future. And I don't know. Is Randovania really smart enough to do that though? I don't think so. We're gonna see ice beam right here in observatory. Nope, never mind. We're gonna see it right here in control tower. Right after we see the save. Honestly, you don't really need to set up any pivot saves in here in labs. You know that research core is an artifact, so you know that you have, it would at least just be better routing to come here regardless of getting thermal. Okay, this frost, remember to do pirate skip. He remembers. Let's go. And nice. I can't tell you how often, especially in situations like this where I know progressions in maps, that I've just skipped that, or I've just hit that trigger because I've not been thinking about it on the way up there. All right, control tower. It's just becoming muscle memory. You just accidentally walk through the door, forgetting that there's a nice beam set in control tower. There it is. The good future. Ice beam is, in fact, in labs. So from here... I guess... So from here you get research core, then... Go to... Oh... You'd probably go to just Quarantine Cave Elevator, and then just go Beeline Frigate, I guess? Yeah, because ideally you want to get as many checks as you can on the way over to let Eve Grove, in case you find a Parabolic expansion on the way over. Mm -hmm. Um, the Workstation I save on. went to Talon with Fruit Cave, so... That is another way to do that. Although, did cross check hints, right? So he does know that it's LGT in my favor. Yes, cross did check and uh, I, I definitely scanned them. I'm pretty sure you went through them. Okay. I guess we'll see here if he does, because that does technically put them in go mode. Jeff is right behind me. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need PBs. I totally forgot about that. Um, so, we, yeah, we might still see Farfen completely checked out here. Yeah, Frost Cave, E Tank. Don't want that. Who knows, we could find a progressive sword here in Farfen as well. It would be very useful, instead of having to use hammer all the time. It's very annoying. Yeah, when is the, like, Ocarina of Time Metroid Prime crossover randomizer coming? That is true. No visors yet. The Wind Waker window. <laughs> Wind Waker Metroid Prime. That does seem feasible. What would that be? Like, instead of SMZ3, that would be like MPZ6, I think? I think that's a 6 Zelda. I don't want to count right now. <laughs> No visors yet. We 
of course, visors are always a suggestion, but yeah, we we probably have like enough E to survive no no visors for an essence fight if it's really bad. Six Victor's mask. So then that would mean. Uh, did Link's Awakening come before or after Majora's Mask? I... Link's Awakening, no, that's like, that's like old, that's like 90, yeah, that's 97, that would make it 7. Unless, no, Oracle Games, you would have, so that would, yeah, so Oracle Games would put that, that would put Wind Waker at, I guess, either 8 or 9, considering if you would put Third. Okay. I don't know my release years, guys. I could have sworn that Oracles was like 01 or something. Uh, yeah, very interesting uh, parkour through this area. To see it. So nothing's turned up so far. At this point, we just have transport access. And then from here, I guess um, you check all of the elders. Maybe that's probably not good routing from here. We also do have mines on our way here. Or not on our way, but that is also a thing we could do now. Uh, mines for main TVs, that's gross. Yeah, do you play the you play one off checks like on the way to the artifacts and hope you get one, or do you go for the item density area, which would be mines at this point? Nice ice spray. Honestly, in, if you're like going in terms of statistics, mines would be your best option, considering that's the most amount of checks like clumped together. Then again, it could also just be Elder Chamber or something. Or of course, you know we could always we could always just get bailed out with a PD expansion. Like really early, that could be in like forget as possible. If I was ballsy enough, you know, I would want to just go to frigate and play for a power bomb expansion, and then just hope. Yep, just hope. Yeah, the hope is that you definitely run into it on the way to getting the item that you need, uh, getting to the location you need, which in this case is Life Grove. Jeff also happening upon Ice Spreader. Very nice. Well, if I've been taking like exact identical routing from here. So, yeah, where does Jeff go from here? Jeff is probably thinking somewhere else to go. Hmm. So, at this point, I wouldn't really say what is a good play or what is not. All it's like all bets are off here, honestly. Two main TVs could be anywhere. <laughs> We'll say I have not seen a main PB's go mode for a while. I would say the only thing that would deter you from Frigate is that it's not in logic yet, considering we don't have thermal. 
but we could always just have like thermal in mines leading to frigate. Isn't that like the best place to hide power bomb expansions though? Where it's like behind all the items. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know at this point. Yeah. Oh, is Jeff also? Jeff is also making his way to frigate as well. Okay. I wonder if they realize that they need PVs. I, we kind of forgot it. I wonder if they haven't realized it either. That could be. Yeah, either that or they are hoping to encounter them on the way there. Um, Frost's last save was in labs in, at observatory, I think. So it's, that's not the worst. You just have to go at ice beam again. And you can skip like all far pen and then just, just go other places. Was there a PB expansion in Biohazard? That they can't get because they don't have supers. That's that's bad. Oof. Just a little teasing you a little bit, I guess. All right, Hydro Access Tunnel. You're our only hope. We could get the bomb. Drop. Yes, Biohazard is peekable. You can just barely make it out through the crack and the door. Some things are easier to identify than others. But yeah, it's very, very worth if no x-ray. Great tree chamber, yes. That is also a thing. So, okay. This has to be one of two elevators. Let's see. Workstation debris, so that means upper goes to PPC. Interesting. He kind of knew that, but at this point, both are logical, so it doesn't really matter. It's nice to know which one is which, because that might help decide where how you're going to root if this if you don't find a power bomb up here. Worst case scenario, in that you would end up having to do bar skip without practicing it. Great tree chamber. Okay. This could also. Okay, missing. So we know this goes to PPC. So where. From here, where do you go? Frost chooses mines. If it. <sighs> Honestly, I think that versus, uh, yeah, PPC versus workstation, I would say that mines is the better thing to go here. Uh, this is the... Yeah, the main quarry entrance is not... Oh, that's right, we need... Uh, I'm, I'm for goring. We need PBs to get to mines at all. The best thing we could do is just peak PCA. That's right. I not having PB sucks, you guys. It messes up your routing. So from here, the best place would just head go to plasma processing, I guess. Yeah. Plasma processing, then where did twin fires go? That's Sun Tower, so mm. uh, plasma processing doesn't need PVs. That's just trilogy. Okay, nice high five in Frigate. Jeff is going to be making his way to Great Tree Chamber 
and realizing <laughs> God cannot save you now. Er yep, there's PBs and workstation debris meets PBs. Uh, this sucks, man. So, yeah, you have to go back through Frigate. Oh, that's... Uh, so bad, man. This was looking like potential sub-hour, too. <laughs> Unless there's like some master out of bounds in Great Tree Hall that Jeff knows that we can get to Life Grove and back. At this point, it all just comes up to deciding which way to go first. <laughs> you see, this is a good, this is a, like a good seed to like make you realize what you need power bombs for. But that's the thing, is why it's so bad, is that I want to go wherever I want to, when I want to. I don't want to be limited in any sort of capacity. So. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Jeff is going to find out here that you need power bombs to do it. Yeah, Mono Station's far end. So we still we still have Hall of the Elders, we and Elder Chamber. We haven't gone back there yet with Ice Beam. Um From there I guess we just really do have main quarry. And Jeff is realizing that he needs PBs, so he's going to... He is not going to fall down while climbing up this room. What is that camera angle? Okay. Do you reset from here? Where was your last save, Jeff? I sure hope you saved that ship. Because that's actually, that's actually not bad. Yeah, you could tell he was thinking about it. Where where was that last save? Yeah, I, I think I saw him save at landing site. Oh, it's Fendrana. Okay. Does he have ice beam? No, it's just... Oh, that's... Yeah. yeah, it needs to go all the way back through the labs to get to Control Tower. Your actions have consequences. <laughs> you know, I'd be willing to think that Jeff was confident that he saved that landing site on his way to forget and then just found out that he didn't... Neither player did that. So that does give Frost a heavy lead. Jeff has to go get Ice Beam again. Meanwhile, okay, Frost is going to check all the elders. Interesting. At this point, there's no good place that PBs can be at this point. Yeah, compared to going into mines as two quick checks. Now Jeff didn't softlock. He just wanted to do a strategic save. But I think this ended up punishing him in the end. Nice fight. Fortunately we won't see any cutscene compilations here. All right, Chozo Bowl. In. 
This is why I love major cutscene skip. It makes this run so much faster. Vanilla E tank involved the elders. What does Elder Chamber have? I mean, if it's not Elder Chamber, the yeah, the furthest down it really could be is vanilla in mines. That's gross. Yep, and Quarry is not a close elevator, so you're going to have to do some traveling. Alright. Oh no, no! It's in mines! Yay! That is... that is terrible. Just even weekly things. Okay, so then from here I would say you would take the save warp at Reflecting Pool, and then save warp back to uh, Rune Shrine, then go. And just full clear laps. And Frost is realizing this is fine. Oh boy. Uh, plasma processing is still a thing, but at that point, that's just evil. There is no, like, really good way to get here. I guess the best way is Sun Tower to Twin Fires. Yeah, that's a good description. There are no good checks left. I wonder what Jeff will do after this. The best thing, the way that this could turn around is that if Jeff just, like, save warps, or, or just does not go to Hall of the Elders, and, like, goes to goes to the right place before Frost gets there. That's pretty much it. Yeah, Jeff is going to have to make the play to mines now to sort of catch up. Jeff hasn't fought Tower's Wrath yet, that's true. Um, does he need to? It's still out of logic. So, I... I'd still say put it off, but that's... Um, both players are at 4 up. Neither of them have gotten Life Group Tunnel or Life Group. Okay, so Jeff doesn't fight Thirds and heads to Talon. So, okay. Yeah. Also, by the way, Baja, don't think that I am not reading into every single message that you're sending as to psychoanalyze you for our race today because <laughs> I am definitely doing that if we get at a very similar speed like this I will know exactly how you're going to route and I will win okay so frost is not going to plasma processing and is instead going to mines and Jeff is going to plasma processing. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, honestly, Baja, I want to learn all that I can. You have multiple beaten me on multiple races, and I need to I need to learn. Need to word learn better routing. I'm very my my flaw is just full clearing everything, and it usually just ends up taking time. Okay, so who's going to get rewarded here? Jeff is doing a one shot check here, and we'll have to make it all the way to the other end of Magmar before he, he can get to mines. Oh, that's right. Frost never did me, Corey. Okay. All right, Jeff. Are you go no? Do the do the cool strat. Do the Tony Tony Hawk jump or whatever eagle jump, whatever you like to call it. Oh, fall down. Yeah, the punishment for not doing out the kill we is uh, you risk falling down. <laughs> I mean, you risk falling down either way, but it's... Yeah, but you got to look cool doing it. It doesn't yeah. count if you look cool doing the fall. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on, do it for the money. No, oh, Jeff, no. Okay. All right, gets it? Okay. Is Jeff in the lead? <laughs> That's a visor. Okay. That. Wow. You know what? Uh... Uh, okay. Meanwhile, excuse me. Meanwhile, Frost finds supers. Okay. Does Does Frost know? Where PBs are though, I didn't. I didn't see. Or did, or did Frost get a expansion? I was looking at Cosmic Processing. Okay. Oh yeah, that is right. They both know that there's a PB expansion in Biohazard, but uh, I mean. There's like a very high chance that you could just find power bombs down here, though. I mean, I would. The best I'd say is just go down to Central Dynamo, do Maze, and then save Warp from there. And. Yeah, the issue now is trying to get back to Crash Frigate with the Super Missiles. Oh, what was what was Jeff shooting in short tunnel? Was that there was a power bomb underneath? Ah, what a troll. Um, MQA without PBs? Can I? I don't think so. You can't even get to MQB MQA without power bombs without getting past the breed there. Uh, there it is. Yep, mains vanilla. You know what? When we were talking about like the very beginning of the game, like the funniest things to have vanilla. <laughs> I think like, not one of them. I would like to change my initial rankings and put this at the top, considering the only fact is that you don't have any expansions yet. Because that implies that you have to come in from all the way at the top down here. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of absurd that we haven't found any of the expansions yet. Or that we have found them and we just can't get to them. They're all... Are they? They're all PB locked at this point, I think. Plasma processing was, was X-ray. So... Honestly, 
this is definitely a cool seed. I would hate to play the seed. I'm so glad that I get to just watch this happen. Okay, so from here... Frost looks to be leaving rather than taking the safe warp. I mean, yeah, that's actually a better play, because PPC heads straight to Great Tree Hall, so... to get the artifacts. So then from there, I guess Reverse Frigate would probably be fastest there. So true. I guess... There was the PB in Biohazard that we could have gotten, but supers were, like, you would have to really commit to that expansion to turn around after supers at that point. That definitely describes my feeling towards the seed as a watcher. Okay. Didn't get the turret at the top of PPC, so that'll be. Could be fast here. But... Uh, okay, then. Nice. Got shot, but didn't pull out. So, oh, what does Jeff do here? Does he turn around for Biohazard? No, he continues onwards. Okay. Nerd? No? Oh, no. He's going into two. No, don't go that way to Philip. No. That's not where the progression is. But yeah, at this point, that that could just very well decide the race, depending on how good and or bad final bosses go for Frost. It's like, is there a parabomb in the wall? Oh, that's true. We didn't see that. That could also be a. It could also be one on Philip himself. Dang. Turrets destroyed my freaking crates. Can't have anything in face on mines. Uh. Missile? Okay. Oh, that's right. You need PBs for Philip, anyways. Never mind. I'm stupid. I sure hope that our race doesn't go like this Baja. <laughs> that's a nice thermal visor as well. Thermal. I guess that's a French vanilla visor. That's where X-ray is normally. That's funny. Oh, don't say that Baja. I want a... I want a seed that you are not comfortable with. <laughs> so that I can get a little. So that's really interesting. Both like runners, at, or at least Jeff will be, they'll both be evenly matched because they both will have like the same loadout except one just has a different visor. For final bosses, that's great. Because there's no way that Frost is going back for plasma processing at this point. Yeah, but Jeff will go in with both visors because you, you'll pick up Thermal on the way to get your, your artifacts. Uh, uh, that is true. Yeah, never mind. I thought that was cool of me to say, but it's fine. Okay, fastest way to Talon is from here? This goes... Where does this go? I believe yeah. that goes to Rick Cave, uh, Rick Cave Double checking, Rick Cave. Okay, nice. Can Exoskip save Jeff here? I 
I know he's been wanting to learn it. Sam has been teaching him some things about it. Would he pull it off in this type of race? I doubt it. Yeah, now's the best time to practice the a trick <laughs> that you've not done before. Yeah. You, you would have to yeah. be feeling very behind. But even at this point, I would say that that would not save me. Frost seems to be three minutes ahead, in my opinion. Well, you see, Cosmo has been doing Exoskip for a lot longer than Jeff has, and is way more confident in it. I don't know how much Jeff has been practicing Exoskip, but... We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to see. Okay. Now, don't get 14 dashes like what happened yesterday. <laughs> We won't talk about that. Otherwise, Ridley just not playing nice. Okay, will we see a fly bicycle? Move to the left. Well, for the shot. Ah, uh, okay. That was really good positioning for for fly by skip, but it didn't buffer the shot, so that was a little bit late, I believe. Yeah, for those unaware, there is indeed a fly by skip uh, setup now, composed by the one and only T3 world record holder of Metroid Prime any percent. And it, there's a lot that goes into it, but it, you can kind of win it. Just knowing how it works is a, very helpful. Fun fact, PB's, that is the vanilla location for PB's main game. But that was not... They are not always intended to be there in randomizer. They are supposed to be in random spots, but we were blessed with a one in 100 chance. I, I forget how many checks there are locations wise. I think it's 100. Yeah, that that was uh, that was quite the coincidence to have main PBs there. Very, very trolly of the scene. All right, and Frost having literally no problems with Ridley. We love to see it. Maybe we see an exoskip from Frost for the memes? No, doesn't seem like it. Oh well. Yeah, definitely not going for Exoskip. Yeah, that's understandable. Both, honestly, at this point, both players probably feel like they're behind. That was, they both, I guess, yeah, Jeff, last location, or last location that uh, main PV is, technically. He even did elite research. So, yeah, both players will probably be feeling super behind.
Yeah, as well as Jeff suffering from that uh, unfortunate save we save and quit that uh, we didn't quite save first. Yeah, I, I want to ask him about that. What are you thinking? That yeah, is, Jeff that did is not true. do the plan, and he did not do early wild. Yeah, I I kind of, I forgot about that. Yeah, Jeff did not do that. So I guess not a last location, but at that point you were kind of you were not going back for flag really. Shot nice. Nice wave phase. Unfortunate ice phases last will not be seen in a way to skip on this sub chamber. Nice snakes. Or just ice shots in general. Okay, with this artifact in, in life growth, that's vanilla actually, I just realized. That puts Jeff in go mode. But we'll likely not make it. French vanilla artifacts today. Yeah, we have two what? vanilla artifacts. We had Artifact Temple and Life Grove. That's right. Was was Artifact Temple truth? I don't think so. Or I wasn't paying attention. But normally, Life Grove vanilla is uh, Artifact of Chozo. Strengthen artifact. Of, okay, yeah. Two French vanilla artifacts today. A little wide on that melee today. No, Jeff, you didn't. Oh, Jeff has. Oh. Jeff. No, don't do bar skip now. Or. Why didn't you open this up when you came from Frigate? Because you reset. That's right. Um, uh, that's unfortunate. Man, a lot of, uh, yeah. Two French vanilla artifacts, a French vanilla visor, and literally vanilla PVs. That's great. What a seed, you guys. This is Hall of Fame worthy, honestly. Okay, thankfully um, Jeff gets bar skipping in a reasonably man reasonably timed manner. I'm starting to notice a trend that when I volunteer for the restreams, we seem to be getting some some pretty bad seats. We, here in the Metroid Prime randomizer community, certain people have just the inexplicable power to gem the worst seats possible. Whether it just be the person on commentary staff who hits the button, who's in the race. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I think the last time I helped out was the Echoes tournament, and I think the two races I turned up for, they've both required a Chica fight by Logic. <laughs> Is it just as well the runners know how to skip it? Okay. So Frost only has one visor going into this. It doesn't have X-rays, so it has to scan for him. Gets him. Loses it. Gets it. You don't have to keep some. If you attack cancel it, it'll stay in its spot. Yeah, alright. I just noticed that's a weird animation of you being in the phase on pool and whipping out scan visor, seeing your arm cannon and hyper mode go down. <laughs> it was very 
uncanny. I've never seen that before. We paid attention to that. Do pull cancels and attack cancels at the same time. Interesting. Did it go? That was actually not bad. Are we getting a four pool today? Love that. Again, if we're first. It's right on top of you. Right behind you. There it is, get it. And that's a GG's by Frost. Congratulations. What a seed. Race time, official time of one hour, 35 minutes, 12 seconds. Man, oh, what a what a roller coaster! Okay, we will see Jeff finishing up his uh, his C as well. And we're greeted by Frost. GGs! What a seed, man! Hello. Oh, that was. Uh... I thought I was go mode like 40 minutes ago, but yeah, those PBs were elusive. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla PBs. That, man, I feel your pain here in the commentary booth. We were like, just trying to think of, of fast routes only to realize that we needed PBs to get anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hmm, can I maybe out of bounds for Life Grove? I ended up just clearing. <laughs> and it was kind of funny because I found supers uh, for the one PB in the biohazard, but just finding main PBs ended up being faster, so. Yeah. That was a very just rude PB at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this race was really close. You guys were like neck and neck like a lot of the time. Ooh. The honestly, the one of the early deciders was actually when you got to when you did the quarantine cave, or when you did quarantine monitor. Both of you yeah. checked that at like the exact same time. You actually fought Thardis while Jeff went to go do Farchozo. Okay. Which was at that point the only logical play. Thardis was still out of logic without him. Yeah, that was, yeah, I had the same thought. But that ended up being faster due to the fact that there wasn't actually anything in Farchoso. Yeah. So you found Plasma before Jeff did. Yeah, and honestly, that Ice Beam in Labs was so lucky. Like, holy. Yeah, at that point, we knew that that was the only place that it could have been. It could have, like, also been supers or power bombs into Ice Beam. Yeah. Which would have been rude, but... Yeah, that was... Yeah. Well, while I was clearing, and then like if Shorelines was empty, I was like, ah, oh, damn, it's going to be in the Trocho zone instead. But luckily, it was not. Yeah, at that point, it's if you just had like one power bomb at that point, you could have. <laughs> it was at that. It was actually when you left and got the artifact in Resource Core, we realized that you actually didn't have any power bombs yet, and you needed those for Life Grove. Yep. And the thing is, I passed two power bombs that were power bomb bomb locked. But like, that was so funny. <laughs> it's like that was almost, but not quite. <laughs> that was crazy, yeah. Yeah, and then like, I, I entered the uh, mines from the back. And I was like, oh yeah, I can do so much here. And then, no, you can't, you can't do anything. <laughs> Where's yeah, the PBs? <laughs> I, was, I was thinking that too, but no, you need power bombs for that. Yep. <laughs> That they were like, oh, oh no. just route through Magmore to go get plasma processing real quick. But nope, you need power bombs to get through there. Yep. And then I had to backtrack through frigates to like save the warp out. That was, uh, yeah. That yeah, that was super was, slow. <laughs> that was another thing. So, Jeff, we don't really know what happened, but after he went to frigate, 
and visited like PPC and areas, saw the last two elevators, realizes he needs PVs. He actually reset. And I we I I at least think he was thinking that he saved at the landing site and he, was just going to reset back to that. But he ended up his last save was actually uh, courtyard before doing labs so he oh, had to do wow. get ice beam again in the artifact yeah that so, could have been a decider right there yeah, that lucky. was that was quite a big time loss it was it was a good play considering if he had saved in landing site yeah but i i, I think he just forgot at that point it was very unfortunate but then yeah from there we were thinking uh, it could have just been like um, plasma processing, and then I guess in Jeff's case, Flagra could have also been PVs. Yeah. Because yeah, Jeff did not do Flagra. Oh uh, yeah. He also did the slope jump in Watery Hall. Yeah. So, yeah. Considering how front loaded Jose was, I thought ah, might as well full clear it. Yeah. So, so from there. Yeah, we, he did check plasma processing, which ended up being uh, X-ray. Oh, that's where that was. <laughs> yeah, we were. If if he had found like a power bomb there, that would have honestly probably put him in the lead. Yeah, I think like at any point finding a PV like that's a decider. So it's kind of interesting that we both found like mains. Yeah, and then also when you were uh, when you were full clearing mines, did you end up actually doing the lead research? I, I I did not know. So like my intention was like they're all PB checks pretty much. So it's faster to just go from the back and just boost through the wall. Uh, but then I found supers and I was like, okay, I'll just skip this and I'll clear lower instead. And if I don't find PBs, I'll reset and grab the PB in by passage. But then I found mains, so that was w way faster. So initially I was going to go from the back, but then I ended up not not doing it because I found supers, which would be like almost go mode. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's like it, it's like four rooms and you don't get any checks at all like just for the one check at the end so. yeah yeah jeff did end up boosting through the collision and checking the upper item in the Ooh, and, and what was that that was that was also just a missile ah. <laughs> did not get bailed out in, in any sense of this is very unfortunate yeah And this scene looked so chet at the beginning. Yeah, it did. Like, boom, bombs, space jump, spider boosts. Like, what more can you ask for? Even, like, even if you, like, knew that you had to go to mines, like, say you were doing this, like, reading the spoiler, yeah. I I don't even know if this really could have been sub hour. Yeah, because you, you have to go, like, through so much in, in Fen, anyways. So. Yeah. You could you could like have cut off going through frigate, because at that point, um, after getting ice beam, both of you were kind of in the same area and were like, uh, like choosing what to do first. Both of you ended up deciding to go through frigate out of logic without thermal. Yeah. So you didn't like lose or gain any time there until Jeff reset. But yeah, that's. So if you took out like that whole trip, I guess maybe, and then just went to mines immediately after Ice Beam, maybe you could have been. Yeah, I think so. And if you skip Blood Chozo, because that was the like later Chozo. And it, yeah, it doesn't seem that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jeff is fighting Exo and does not seem to be having the best of times. He's out of missiles. Ah. Yeah, supers and ice spreader was very nice. Okay, well that's September four done, so we will see an essence fight from Jeff. And with double visors as well. Let's go. Yeah, that was yeah, your essence fight was actually pretty clean, honestly. No pool skips. And you were able to do a decent amount of damage considering yeah. you didn't have X ray. Yeah, he was trolling me on the first one, as it might have been a two pool, but nope, not too bad. Yeah, you also, you were doing pool cancels the whole time, which I found really interesting. Yeah, like, if, if I have three visors, I'll try not to, but with two, like, I want to maximize damage. 
That yeah, that is interesting. I most runners I know tend to not do that. They're they usually just usually save pool cancels for like say like combat phaser or combat yeah. phases, so as to like yeah. just see the pool easier. But the thing is if you do the pool cancels like optimally, they don't really lose time. So you just get like free yeah, damage. And, yeah, yeah, I realized that during the whole fight. Yeah, you didn't really lose time. You actually kind of made up for all of the phase on shots you didn't hit in the extra. <laughs> uh, that doesn't. That might be a pool skip, Jeff. Okay, no. It's kind of close. Yeah, the roots always cause trouble. <laughs> Jeff is not opting for the who cancels. Nice. No. Is this ooh, okay. This might be an actual just a full pool as well. Ah, he's cancelling on the third. I think he can make it. GG's. GG's to Jeff. Race time, official time of 1 hour and 35, or 45 minutes, 30 seconds flat. Yeah, so 10 minute difference there, so that might have been that one reset. That is very unlucky. Yeah, that, man. If, if Jeff didn't reset, do that punishing reset, he, yeah. Oof. And hello, oh, Jeff. <laughs> I heard Jeff. the sad tale. That was very unlucky. So, main PB is eh? Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't miss an expansion anywhere, did I? Uh, no, you did not. That was also my uh, go mode. Because <laughs> the, the thing is, we both found supers before main PBs. So, like, we could have reset out and grabbed the one in Biohazard, because that was super locked. Uh, that's true. So, yeah, I, that was my plan. I was just checked main PBs in case, but, and that ended up being yeah. the play. My, my unfortunate thing was I... I routed through Frigate. I, uh, maybe you did the same thing when we talked yeah, about digging yeah, a hole. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> stuck behind all those PV locks. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was rough, and it, I took a reset all the way back to uh, Ruined Courtyard. Uh, yeah, so I yeah, made was... my way back to like upper deck Gamma, or, like the deck, and then saved there. So it, yeah, it cost me time, to... but not as much. I wanted to ask you about that. Did you know that that was your last save? I think I did at the time. And as soon as I did it, I think I regretted it. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I was like, hmm, what'll be faster, going back or through frigate or taking the death? And yeah, I, pretty sure I was in courtyard, which meant I had to go through all of labs again. And I was hoping, it's like I didn't have to do far fen again. So I was like, maybe I'll find it somewhere mm -hmm. else and it'll be faster. But when I looked back yeah. at it. I was like, yeah, this definitely was not faster. Um, there was mm. definitely a big, big mistake on my part. Uh, yeah. I, I, f I felt so positive uh, <laughs> up until about 40 minutes when the PVs started get locking things. And... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I just kept making more and more tricks, and the TBs never showed up. And I was like, ah, oh, maybe he did this, or maybe they did that. But... <laughs> yeah, that expansion in Shore Tunnel was very foreboding. As it turns yep. out. I, I was like, hmm, is infinite speed on? Ah, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can out of bounds that with the triclops. But yeah, that's yeah, rough. Yeah, but that's bad. <laughs> yeah. And you ended up getting x ray. I never grabbed that one, actually. Yeah, it was in plasma processing, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were thinking if, if plasma processing was PVs, that would have. Or like even an expansion that would have put you in like a severe lead. I would have. Yeah, because at that I, point, I Go ahead. at that point, Frost was on his way to mines. I think he was still in Magmore. I don't. I don't quite remember. But yeah, that would have put you in the lead. But unfortunately, did not pay out. Did uh, yeah. Did Frost get the early space jump boots in the uh, watery hole? I did. Yes. Nice. 
I did have to I, say before before Anzo. I was just, I, I was so rusty on that one. <laughs> I, that was I, I mean you were you were seated eight I think so I figured you'd be able to do that but I I need I need tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I, need to, I need some way to get an advantage because yeah the, anyone who's speed read in the game and who's fast through these rooms definitely has a, a leg up on me. So when I saw that. Um, Space jump was locked behind there, and I had no idea where gravity was because you would have had to use the bomb jumps to uh, get it with gravity logically. I think um, yeah. I was just hoping it was somewhere, and maybe you didn't know how to do it, and it would have bought me <laughs> some more time. Yeah, it's been a while, but luckily I managed to pull it, pull it out. Yeah, I'm actually quite rusty at that NSJ. I haven't done that in a hot minute. I should probably. That actually makes me want to practice that. <laughs> Although it was it wasn't the worst because logically you just needed to use gravity and bomb jump on that. Yeah. And for the meme, I kinda wanted to not peek the um tree item <laughs> because your last match, Jeff, but I decided <laughs> to check it. <laughs> yeah, I was I was hoping that could have been a PB. I was, I was just <laughs> the PBs, man. That's the story of the seed. Yeah. And yeah, having to go all the way through Magmore to get to Main Plaza was, or Main yeah, that's, Quarry was just that's the worst part. Yeah, it's such a long trip. It is. Ugh. Yeah, I peeked the artifact and I just turned around. I was not going there. Yeah, both of you went into PPC not realizing that you actually needed power bombs to even start doing things in there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I knew I couldn't get the PPC check, but the that tunnel, whatever it's called something yeah. access probably it was just i i totally skipped my mind i had the the racer fog going on i was just on a path uh -huh. i yeah. i knew that ice beam was like the last major progression so i was like oh mines is a great play and uh i was like ppc easy yeah <laughs> man yeah this is i guess this is a very good seed in terms of learning what you can and can't do without pb's routing wise yeah i think that's pretty much the only thing the seed has going for it at that point it's all is is as a lesson yeah and it paired well with uh, elevators because a lot of them were it were inaccessible mm. yeah uh what is in the next round by the way what's the setting um the next week is door rain middle oh no <laughs> so yeah we will be seeing quite a lot of longer races in the next coming week. Huh, I've never played that. Guess I gotta practice. I, w I would highly recommend practicing a Dorando if you haven't done it before. It's crazy. Things can happen. <laughs> Does that also work with like uh, charge combos? Or is that it, different? Yes, it does. It does. Indeed. <laughs> and, and PBs and everything. Bombs. Wow. Yeah, just wait till you find PBs early and there's 50 PB doors in your game. It'll oh, be fun. That's going to be amazing. Or, or you get all the way to uh, uh, XO to realize you're locked by Ice Spreader. <laughs> Flamethrower. Find, find the useful, you know? Oh, yeah. Yes. But you say it, it'll happen. <laughs> you will. You thought today's route was cancerous. Just wait until you see a door rando seed. Trust me. It'll be oh. infinitely worse. Oh, yeah, I'll be waiting. <laughs> but yeah, as for races this week with these settings, there are, and there's five or four matches that are happening today. Let's see, what do we got? We got C Zeke versus Cameron on Speed Gaming 4 happening very soon, actually, as well as Mr. Miguel versus Diggorath on Speed Gaming 5. Uh, and then. In about half an hour, we have Avena versus Xenowars, the reschedule, I believe, the on Speed Gaming 2. And later tonight, in about uh, two hours, you will see yours truly versus the one and only Baja Blood. That will definitely go well. I'm very excited. Yes, I am. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, tomorrow we have three races scheduled right now, and then Saturday four, and then two on Sunday. So yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Shout outs to our commentators. Shout outs Doris and Op for both being here. As I said at the beginning, they showed up quite last minute. 
I was the only one signed up for this race at the beginning, and I was very nervous. I had to do everything by myself. But thank you, Thoris and Op, both of you guys. Big help here. We love. We love just having more than one person doing the whole thing. That probably, given the seed, that probably would not have gone well. <laughs> a full one man show. So yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, follow our runners. Both are very well versed people in Prime Rando. And, yeah. and also follow Short Scanty for the amazing commentary. Yes, thank you. Follow me when I am racing later tonight. It is oh. going to be. I sure hope it's not as bad as the sea. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Any last comments, Jeff? Nope. No, I think I got most of the complaining out of the way. <laughs> Thanks for the race. GG's. Yeah, yeah. GG's. GG's. Yep, and with that, uh, we're all done here. Uh, make sure to check out Speed Gaming 4 and 5 happening right now, and Speed Gaming 2 a little bit later. And yeah. Have, see you next mission. Uh, yeah, see you next mission. Ladies see you next mission. Bye-bye. <laughs>